Have you ever experienced a moment in television that left an indelible mark on your memory? The 1966 TV series Batman is one of those iconic shows that has created lasting impressions for viewers over the years. Whether it's the campy humor, the unforgettable characters, or the catchy theme music, Batman has a special place in the hearts of many. As we delve into some random facts about this beloved series, take a moment to reflect. Is there a particular scene or moment in this TV series that has had a lasting impact on you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's journey back to the swinging 60 seconds when Batman first graced our television screens. Premiering on January 12, 1966, this series brought the comic book Caped Crusader to life in a colorful and comedic way. Starring Adam West as Batman and Burt Ward as Robin, the dynamic duo fought crime in Gotham City with an unmistakable sense of camp and flair. The show's unique blend of action, humor, and over-the-top villains like the Joker and the Penguin made it an instant hit. Batman was known for its pow and bam, onomatopoeic graphics during fight scenes, as well as its memorable Batmobile and Batcave. It introduced viewers to a pop culture phenomenon that still resonates today. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Did you rush home from school to catch an episode? Or perhaps you dressed up as Batman for Halloween. Share your stories with us, we'd love to hear them. Batman was more than just a TV show. It was a cultural touchstone that brought the Caped Crusader into living rooms across the nation. It remains a timeless classic, leaving us with fond memories of Gotham City and the unforgettable duo of Batman and Robin. So, tell us, what's your Batman story? We're all ears. Adam West, Burt Ward, and Neil Hamilton are the only actors to appear in all 120 episodes of the 1966 TV series Batman. This iconic show, known for its campy style and colorful villains, featured West as Batman, Ward as Robin, and Hamilton as Commissioner Gordon. Their consistent presence throughout the series contributed to its enduring popularity and status as a classic in the world of superhero television. The series, inspired by the Batman comics, was a lighthearted take on the Caped Crusader's adventures and ran for three seasons. It became a pop culture phenomenon and left a lasting impact on how Batman was portrayed in the media. While there are many interesting facts about the 1966 Batman series, the enduring presence of Adam West, Burt Ward, and Neil Hamilton in all 120 episodes stands as a testament to their commitment to the show and its place in television history. In the early 1960s, when producers decided to create a television series based on a comic book or strip, they considered several options. It was the foregone conclusion that Batman would be the chosen character. In fact, they surveyed the public to gauge their preferences. Other characters like Superman, Dick Tracy, the Green Hornet, the Phantom, and Little Orphan Annie were on the table. But Batman rose to the top of the list among characters whose rights were available and obtainable at the time. This decision paved the way for the iconic 1966 TV series Batman, starring Adam West as Batman, Burt Ward as Robin, and Neil Hamilton as Commissioner Gordon. It became a pop culture phenomenon and left a lasting impact on how Batman was portrayed in the media, all thanks to that pivotal decision. Many top Hollywood names of the time had guest roles on the show, including many who didn't do much television. Performers who weren't cast as guest villains usually popped their heads out of windows to exchange a few words with Batman and Robin as they climbed up a building wall. Frank Sinatra, Natalie Wood, and Cary Grant were all fans and wanted to be on the show, but the producers were never able to come up with the right roles for any of them. Van Williams and Bruce Lee teamed up with the dynamic duo in a crossover with the Green Hornet and did a window cameo in another. This highlights the widespread appeal and influence of the 1966 TV series Batman, making it a significant part of entertainment history. 3. Mary Ann Mobley was the first choice to play Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. Originally, the character was to have her own television series which would lead into this show each week. Mary Ann Mobley, initially selected to portray Barbara Gordon, brought an intriguing twist to the iconic 1966 TV series Batman. The plan was for her character, Batgirl, to have her own television series that would seamlessly lead into the weekly Batman show. 
This intriguing concept offered a fresh perspective on the Caped Crusader's world, but it eventually evolved in a different direction. While this idea didn't come to fruition, it exemplifies the show's dynamic approach to expanding its universe. Stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating world of the 1966 Batman series. In all of the scenes of the villain's hideouts, the camera filmed at an angle or crooked. This shot is known as an oblique or Dutch angle. This was because all the villains were also crooked, and it gave a sense of something being wrong in the scene, shot. This unique filming technique added to the show's distinct style, emphasizing the eccentric and quirky nature of the villains in the 1966 TV series Batman. It's a subtle but effective way that the show used cinematography to enhance the storytelling. Yvonne Craig, who played Batgirl, brought her own skills to the set. She stated that she briefly did have a stunt double, but she did most of her stunts herself. In fact, she even operated the Batgirl cycle herself, showcasing her abilities as an accomplished biker at the time. This hands-on approach to her role added authenticity to her character's action scenes. Lastly, a fascinating detail about the show is the giant lighted Lucite map of Gotham City. It's intriguing that this map is a reverse image of St. Louis, down to specific landmarks and parks, as well as river and road networks. This subtle connection between the fictional Gotham City and a real-world city adds an interesting layer to the show's production. These behind-the-scenes facts offer a deeper understanding of the 1966 TV series Batman and the creative choices made during its production. Each detail, from the camera angles to the authenticity of the Batgirl stunts, contributes to the show's enduring charm and uniqueness. It's all part of what makes this series a classic in the world of superhero television. The Batmobile used in the 1966 TV series Batman was a customized 1955 Lincoln Futura, which had previously appeared in the movie It Started With a Kiss. According to George Barris, the renowned car customizer, five Batmobiles were created for the series. This iconic vehicle became an integral part of the show, capturing the imagination of fans with its sleek design and high-tech gadgets. The Batmobile's design, with its distinctive bat wings and rocket exhaust, made it instantly recognizable and added an extra layer of excitement to each episode. It wasn't just a mode of transportation for Batman and Robin, it was a symbol of their crime-fighting mission. Fans marveled at the vehicle's flamboyant style, which perfectly matched the campy and colorful tone of the show. Its gadgets, including the bat phone, bat ray, and the famous bat turn lever, were a source of fascination for viewers, and kids everywhere dreamed of owning a car just like it. The Batmobile's popularity extended far beyond the show itself, with various iterations appearing in comic books, animated series, and even the more recent Batman films. It became an enduring symbol of Batman's legacy, and the enduring appeal of the caped crusader. Even to this day, fans and collectors alike cherish the Batmobile from the 1966 TV series, showcasing the lasting impact of this remarkable piece of automotive and pop culture history. In summary, the Batmobile from the 1966 TV series Batman, based on the 1955 Lincoln Futura, remains an iconic and beloved piece of television and automotive history. Its unique design and gadgetry have left a lasting impression on fans and continue to be celebrated by enthusiasts worldwide. As we bid adieu to the Batcave and the iconic 1966 TV series Batman, it's time to pause and reflect on the extraordinary journey we've embarked upon with the Caped Crusader and the Boy Wonder. This television gem, with its vibrant colors, witty humor, and unforgettable characters, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of fans around the world. Take a moment to ponder the connection you've formed with Batman, Robin, and the colorful rogues gallery of villains. Perhaps it's the campy charm that drew you in, or the dynamic duo's unwavering commitment to justice that resonated with you. Maybe you fondly remember the ingenious gadgets, the POW, and BAM action sequences, or the delightful banter between Batman and his foes. Now, I invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about the 1966 Batman series. What makes it special to you? Is there a particular episode, character, or moment that stands out in your mind? Your unique perspective adds to the rich tapestry of Batman's legacy and the shared experience of fans worldwide. Thank you for taking the time to reflect on this timeless classic. 
and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your passion and connection to the world of Batman are what keep the bat signal shining bright in the night sky. Until next time, same bat time, same bat channel, keep the spirit of Batman alive in your heart.